All right, Eddie Enriquez here with DrillStack. I'm here with Bo Chavez, our speed expert. We're going to talk about a few different things right now in the offseason that you guys are going to be doing for improving your athlete's speed and maximizing the time that you have with them on the field. So you're probably in the weight room right now doing your, your weight training, your squats, your bench, deadlift, power cleans, uh, you know, all the other ancillary exercises that you're incorporating into the program. And then outside, most likely you're out there running uh, you know, different types of sprints, lateral movements, ladder, uh, cones, oh, etc. Right. So, though, you know, right now, like, you know, a lot of uh, people out there really need to improve their team speed. That's really where the money's at, right? Right. I mean, we talked about many times, you know, if you look at NFL combine athletes, um, you know, millions are made or lost on their 40 yard dash time uh, because it's that important. Speed, is, you know, speed kills. You know, we talked about that. So, if I were a coach, you know, training, you know, 50, 60, 70 high school athletes at one time, you know, how would you, or what would you do to help maximize the time in the drills that we do outside uh, from a speed perspective? And it, it goes back to what we've been talking about and some of the tests and the research that are coming about about how important the balance from the left to the right, the right to the left, front and back are. And I think what a lot of coaches are doing, they're, they're going outside, there's 50, 60 athletes, it's, all right, let's do um, running drills, let's do cone drills, let's do ladder drills. That's all the stuff that, you know, it, it, it's good stuff. But what I think is, let, let's pull back a little bit. You're, you're doing the stuff that are, is correct in the weight room. We know that's important. But one thing that we have to understand, and I learned uh, a lot of this stuff from Eddie back in 2005 when I was just getting my business going. And Eddie and I um, were working together back in 2005, 2006. And, but one thing that's come full circle and the research shows is, glute activation, hamstring activation, and balance. All right, so what we're seeing a lot is coaches taking their athletes out, they're running through drills, they're running through ladders, and they're just dose, 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 dose. But pull that back, all right, get these kids out there and teach them how to activate that glute. You're, you're not gonna have all 60 kids being able to activate those glutes, but if you can break it down and you can teach them, you know, simple movement patternings in your dynamic warm up or your corrective exercises, um, and line them up and teach them, all right, this is how you activate the glute as opposed to the back, all right? This is how you activate the hamstrings. And there's certain exercises that Ed and I have talked about that we feel are the best that you can implement and use on the field or as a warm up in uh, prior to your lifting exercises. Because your glutes and your hamstrings are just important in the weight room as they are for speed. And, so, and we know that, so there's a couple ways that uh, we do that um, on the field. And what I've done in my business and Eddie's exclusively done here at Cap Elite. So we'll go over some of those right now and uh, we'll uh, teach you how to activate the glutes and the best way to do that.